Hey guys, this is Haley from OneOwnerRabbits.com and today I am super excited because it's pretty much the first day of spring here in the Northwoods, Wisconsin. We still have snow on the ground, um, but we're hoping it will all melt today and tomorrow um, through this weekend. So today is Friday and it's about, I don't know, like 2 o'clock or something. Um, and I just set up the bunny's pen for them to run around and they both just went in the tunnel at the same time. Yeah, so I set up this pen for them to play. Um, I'm super excited. I've been waiting a long time to be able to bring them outside. Um, but a few days ago, it was still 40 degrees and it was still too cold. As you don't want to let your rabbits out in a 20 degrees temperature change. So let's say it's like 68 inside my house. Um, I don't want to let them out unless it's um, 48 degrees or above. So if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, if you, the reason you want to do that is because rabbits can go into shock from the temperature change, so that's why I had to wait till today. So it is 60 degrees like I showed you before, so perfectly fine for the bunnies to come out as my house is like 60 some degrees. Um, and it's sunny and it's not raining or snowing like it has been, so it's perfect. And... <laughs> Yeah, the bunnies are just having fun exploring their cage. And I'll give you a little, like, um, pen tour in a second. Um, but anyway, so I'm hoping for some binkies as they're getting really excited. I can tell they're starting to hop faster than normal and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to give you a quick pen tour. Okay, so I am now in the pen, so I'm going to give you a quick tour, as I said before. So right over here in this far corner, we just have the water dish and a litter box. Sometimes when I let them outside, I won't give them a litter box just because to have them have more room to run around. But since we're on a cement type thing, I don't want them to pee. Um, so if I have the um, litter box out here, they won't pee, but um, they will poop like you can see. But that's totally fine with me. Then over here we have their big metal tunnel and back there were that um, green fleeces. That's just because I didn't have enough rugs to go all the way um, to the back. And the reason I'm not letting them just run on cement was because of their um, sores on their hocks. Um, I just don't want them to get any worse as I'm pretty sure cement is what caused it because they were living on cement all summer. So. Um, yeah, I just wanted to cover it up with all my rugs. Here goes Mocha! Here goes Mocha! Hmm. <laughs> so then right here, outside the tunnel, we have, um, two rocks. These are actually one rock that's split in half. They're, like, really flat. And I've always liked these rocks, so we just keep them... I guess you can't see it, but we have, like, a rock wall over there. Um, so I just grabbed them from there, and I'll put them back when I'm done. But just for them to hop on and lay on if they're too hot. Um, and then over here we have their blue Heidi Hut. This is just in case they get scared. Um, they do have the tunnel, but they like Heidi Huts better. Um, well, I should say Mocha likes Heidi Huts better. So anyway, this is just the blue one. It has their um, ceramic tile in there in case they're hot. And then some, um, this is just a phone book that I put in there in case they want to rip it up. But normally when they're playing, they don't really like to play with toys. They just like to run around. So, and then over here, just some more toys. And then if we move to the right over here, we just have this cardboard box. It looks really bad. Um, I found this in the garage. We have a whole bunch of random boxes from when we moved. Um, so I just filled it with hay, kind of, so that they can dig in it and play in it. And um, I didn't use scissors, I just ripped it, so that's why it looks really funny. So yeah, this is their pen that they are playing in. So the pen they are in is a 5x9 pen, so it is pretty large for them to run around. And it is right underneath my overhang. If you can see, there's a big overhang um, on here so that it's very unlikely that birds will come in and get them, especially when I'm standing right here. No birds is going to try to attack the bunnies 
while I'm here because they'll have me to talk to. <laughs> so, anyway, um, yeah, this is a pretty good area, especially since they can't dig out as it's cement. Um, and I'm not using their outdoor pen that I um, made a few years ago because, <laughs> oh, you're so cute, Lulu. Um, because it is full of snow and I built it right underneath an oak tree. So there's tons of oak leaves and acorns in it, which is not good because all those are poisonous to rabbits. So I'm hoping we'll move it this year or next year um, closer to the house because it is really far away. Here, I'll show you where it is. So excuse the messy yard. Um, it's because, of course, most of you should know that we just built this house. So we have no grass whatsoever. It's pure dirt. And... Um, we just have some leftover wood that was underneath the snow, so it's going to be pretty messy. But anyway, so if we turn around here, let's see. Okay, so right up there is my grandparents' house. That's their house, and that's their um, garage. This is where the bunnies were staying this summer, or last summer. Um, so that's how close our houses are. And if we keep moving, as you can see, our camper up there. Um, right behind a camper, that is where um, the rabbit pen is, so it's quite a walk. I mean, it's not a huge walk, but I'd rather have it closer to the house so I don't have to lug the rabbits all the way up there. And um, I really don't like it under that oak tree, so maybe eventually we'll move it. So yeah, now you just had a look at our extremely messy yard. Um, anyway, so as you can see, there's a window right there. That is my bedroom. And also, this window right here is my bedroom, and I'll just show you. So here's my bedroom window. It's really hard to see because you just see a reflection. Um, but pretty much, in comparison, this is the litter boxes and the hay rack, and then their whole cage is here, and then the other cage is down this way. So, um, yeah. Hi, buddy. Can you see his little wet chin? He just finished eating all his veggies and he always has a wet chin afterwards. Olga! Come on, mister. Come on. Come here. Come on. Yeah, you're so cute. Look at you. Oh, aren't you a cute boy? Yes! I don't have a treat for you. I don't have a treat. Can you stand up? Can you stand up? Good girl!